So let's talk trauma and the impact that it can have on our lives. So trauma shows in many forms around crucial periods in our development. It also shows around times when we're unable to cope properly with things that are going on in our environment. So what we find is that this can result from abuse, neglect, violence, accidents, or natural disasters, to name a few. But ultimately, it's anything that disrupts the central nervous system, leaving a deep emotional wound behind that will need to be healed and reviewed at some point later in life. So here are five ways that trauma can affect your life in the long term. So number one, we have mental health issues. So this could be complex PTSD, PTSD, or anything such as anxiety and depression. But ultimately, it's any disorder that results from cognitive dissonance. So number two, we have physical health. So you may be presented with chronic pain, headaches, fatigue, or pretty much any other physical symptom that's currently presenting. Number three, we have self-esteem. So this is where there is a negative self-image, but it's based on blaming ourselves, feeling ashamed, or having a sense of guilt. Number four, you have relationships. So you may find it difficult to form healthy relationships, be it with friends, family, or romantic partners. There will be trust issues, and there will be a clear sense of insecurity around emotional distance and you getting close to people. Number five, you're looking at coping mechanisms. So you'll develop unhealthy coping mechanisms, which could look like substance abuse, self-harm, eating disorders, or you may find that you count, be it shapes, objects, lines, but there are many ways that this can show itself for you to cope and get through. What we have to realise is that many people deal with trauma in many different ways. There's no one size fits all and there's no right or wrong way. Ultimately, when we cope with the trauma, what we're looking at is protecting ourselves in that moment and getting ourselves to a place where we're safe. But what we then find is that these behaviours then have to be reviewed and come back to us through patterns. However, ultimately, the behaviours that we have are being shown to be out of date because we're still using that very same response in a very different environment. So if you find that you struggle with negative patterns in your life, then check the link in the bio below, because maybe it's time to relieve all of these patterns and live the life that you wish to. Until next time, trust the process, and it's bye for now.